Elizabeth, listen, I appreciate the effort, but this is just a waste of time. No, 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 but keep an open mind, because I think Nicholas's perspective can be very helpful. What, about a brother who just showed up out of nowhere? Well, look at how long it took you and Nicholas to connect. Yeah, and I was wrong about Nicholas, but I'm not wrong about Ethan. What's wrong? What are you doing? A reading. Got a problem with that? Don't play dumb. Why are you in Emily's clothes? This robe is from the guest room, and I'm a guest. See how that works? You don't look like yourself. Yeah, you look like Emily in her clothes, in her chair. But you already know that, don't you? Oh, my God, you people! Nicholas took me sailing. I got knocked overboard, so now I'm sitting here waiting while the maid dries my clothes. Where's Nicholas? Out riding. Instead of staying in the guest room, you decided to come out here and make yourself all cozy on his chair so he can walk in here and find you looking like... What? What's wrong? I told Rebecca to make herself comfortable. Yeah, I'm sure my clothes are dry by now, so I'll make everybody else comfortable and go change. What's wrong? What's wrong? We walk in here and find Rebecca sitting on your chair in Emily's clothes waiting for you to come back from a ride. How many hundreds of times did that actually happen with Emily? And now you're recreating it with her double? Nicholas, that should scare you. I know it scares me. Your blouse. Yeah, nice, huh? Wyndham's on clearance. Better hurry if you want one. Exactly the kind of thing Emily would wear. How would I know that? Because I told you, today at the hospital when you were wearing your light blue scrubs, I said how much you looked like Emily, and now here you are in Nicholas's <sighs> house wearing the same exact color, and I've never seen you wear anything like that before. Okay, so what? You want to go through my closet and pick out everything that you find unsuitable to wear because it might remind Nicholas of Emily? I don't believe you picked that out by accident. In fact, nothing you have done has been an accident since you got a job at General Hospital. I don't have time for this. We'll make time. Because you're not leaving this room until you tell me what you're up to. I'm not going to stand by and watch you manipulate Nicholas. I'm not. Oh, come on. You always wear these dark, depressing clothes and you black out your eyes with all this makeup, but not now. Because Emily likes lighter color clothes and natural makeup, and suddenly you do too. At least when you're around Nicholas. Hmm. So if I put on some eyeshadow, will you back off? I'll back off when you stop imitating my dead best friend to exploit Nicholas's grief. He's a lot stronger than you give him credit for. He's still devastated by Emily's death. You know, maybe you're the one that hasn't gotten past it. And maybe you're still trying to be loyal to Emily by tying Nicholas down to her ghost. Ooh, that's creepy. Do you really believe I'm using Rebecca? Maybe not consciously, but it's still not fair to her. Oh, here I am, back in my own clothes. <laughs> if you're wondering about the timing, Elizabeth here followed me into the guest room for a little girl talk on the dangers of resembling Emily. Haven't you said enough already? No, I think the situation has gotten completely out of hand, and some part of you has to know it's wrong. Is that really why you came all the way out here to criticize me? No. I convinced Lucky to ask for your advice on a family problem. But I think your perspective is gone. Come on, Lucky, let's go. You can come back on lunch with us. She's staying here for dinner. Oh, let me guess. Lamb with mint sauce? That was Emily's favorite. <laughs>